Hello viewers, in this video we will see process costing, under that normal loss with scrap value we will see. We will see one problem, a product passes through three process A, B and C, 10,000 units at rupee 1 per unit were issued to process A, the other direct expenses were, ok other expenses were given, sundry material for three process that is for process A, B and C was given and direct labor for the three process and direct expenses for the three process was given, ok. The wastage of process A was 5%, process B was 4% and process C was 5%, ok. The wastage for three processes 5%, 4% and 5%. The wastage of process A was sold at rupees 25 paise per unit, ok. And this wastage will cost 25 paise per unit, ok. It, it, the wastage is realizing 25 paise per unit. That of B at rupees 50 paise per unit, ok. And the wastage from process B is realizing 50 paise per unit. And that of C at rupee 1, ok. The wastage of C is realizing 1 rupee, ok. The overhead charges were 168 percentage of direct labor ok apart from this expenses we have overhead charges and that is 168 percentage of direct labor ok in this direct labor we have to find out the 168 percentage for the respective process ok the final product was sold at rupees 10 per unit fetching a profit of 20 percent on sale prepare process account and finish goods account ok in this problem, we have to prepare the process account as well as finish goods account. Okay, let's see how to do this problem. Yes, first I have returned the units issued. See, 10,000 units was issued at rupee 1. So, in the units column, I have written 10,000 and in amount column, I have written 10,000 because it is um, issued at 1 rupee. Okay, so 10,000 into 1 will get 10,000 and Next, we have to write the sundry materials, direct labor and direct expenses. Okay, yes, I have written all this. Okay, and the next charges is overhead charges. It is 168 percentage of direct labor. So, we have to find 168 percentage of this 5000. Okay, 5000 into 168 percentage. Okay, we will get 8400. Okay, 8400 is the overhead charges. Okay, we finished writing everything in the debit side. Now, we have to calculate the wastages. Okay, it is given in percentage, no, that we have to calculate. Okay, so we can do it in the credit side now. Wastage of process A was 5%. Okay, in this 10,000, we have to find that 5%. Okay, we'll get 500. Okay, and this 500 is realizing 25 paise per unit. It is given process A was sold at rupees 25 paise per unit. So, 500 into 25 paise will get 125. Okay. That's all. We finish off writing everything. So, now we can balance this process A account. Yes, this is the balancing figure. Okay. This to be transferred to process B account. 9500 units and the amount is 25,325. Okay. This is to be transferred to process B account. See, here I have written to process A because it is transferred from process A. So, I have written it here process A and 9500 units 25,325 rupees. Okay. And the next thing we have to write this expenses. Okay. Sundry material 1500, direct labor 8000, direct expenses 1188. I have to write all those. Yes, I have written and now we have to again calculate the overhead charges. It is 168 percentage of direct labor. So, the direct labor is 8000 here. So, 8000 into 168 percentage. Okay. If we calculate, we will get 13,440. Okay. And we can total this because we don't have any other item to be returned in the debit side of this process account. Okay. And now we have to calculate the wastage. Yes, see, for process B, the wastage was 4%. So, 
So in this 9500 we have to calculate 4% and 4% realize 50 paise per unit. Okay, we'll see 380 is the 4% of 9500. Okay, and that realizes 50 paise per unit. So 380 into 50 paise will get 190. Okay, so now we have to balance this process B account. Okay, we have to write process C account. It is a transfer to that process C account. Yes, 9120 units and the amount is 49,263. Okay, now we have to find out the per unit, price of per unit. So, 49,000. 263 divided by 9120 will get 5.40 per unit okay and this is to be transferred to process C account yes see I have written it here okay and now in the process C account again we have to write this material labor and expenses yes and now overhead charges we have to write it is 168 percentage of direct labor. Here the direct labor is 6500. 6500 into 168 percentage will get 10,920. Okay, now we have to find out the wastage of process C. Okay, see here and process C was 5 percent. Okay, the wastage of process C was 5 percent. So, 9120 into 5 percent. Okay. And that realized rupee 1, see, was sold at rupee 1, okay. The process C realized the wastage at 1 rupee. So, 456 into 1 will get 456, okay. Since it is a last process, we have to write finished stock here, okay. In the previous process, we have written process C it is a transfer so this process C account is a last process so we have to write finished stock okay and this finished stock is charged at 8 per unit okay this is nothing but 69,312 divided by 8,664 okay we'll get 8 rupees and now we finished all the process account that is we prepared process A, process B and process C. Now we have to prepare the finished goods account. Okay, let's see how to do that. Yes, see in finished stock account we have to write it in the debit side this balance that is the cost of 8664 units that we have to write it in the debit side. See, I have written it here. Okay. And in the credit side, we have to write the selling price. Okay. See, the final product was sold at rupees 10 per unit. Okay. So, the sales will be for this 8,664 units, the selling price is 86,640 because 8,664 into 10, it is given clearly the sale price is 10 per unit. So, I have written here and now we have to balance this. Okay, in the debit side we'll get that is the profit. Okay, this is the profit of this process account. Okay, yes, I hope now you are clear to prepare the process account with normal loss and the scrap value of that. Okay, normal loss is nothing but your wastage. Okay, and I have given you a small problem for you to practice. You just work out this problem and comment in the comment section. I will check your answer. Thank you for your patient listening.